In the year 2000, my family and I moved into a brand new house that we had built. It was in a basically new part of a subdivision, we literally were the only house back there for some time. These events happened randomly over a period over a few years from 2002 to 2005. The first thing I remember happening was I was laying in bed one night. The house had a open concept, with 20 feet cathedral ceilings, meaning you could literally hear everything downstairs. We had hardwood floors put in our foyer a couple years after moving in, so whenever somebody walked through there you could hear the wood creak. I was laying in my bed, when I heard footsteps walk across the hardwood floor. I figured it was my dad who would normally get up and grab a glass of water or something. He walked kind of heavy, and the footsteps sounded just like that. The footsteps continued on through what would be the dining room, and into the kitchen, dot bet they didn't stop, they kept on coming into the living room, and started up the stairs. The footsteps then walked past my door, and into our bonus room, game room which was over the garage, and then stopped. They ever exited, I was spooked, but then just kind of let it go and fell asleep. The next day I asked my dad what he was doing upstairs last night, he told me he never got up. I was totally confused, who was walking around the house in the middle of the night? Strange things started happening from that point. I always slept with my door shut, and sometimes I would literally open completely, the knob would turn, and the door would swing wide open. Another time I was just on the verge of falling asleep when a deep voice said, hey, and I shot up expecting to see my dad, but there was nobody there. My dad would frequently smell the perfume of an old girlfriend he had in high school, who commuted suicide sometime in the 80s. He would swear my mother never wore that scent, and he would always say it was her. Another time he was on the chair watching TV, when he said a woman in 19th period clothing walked out from my brother's room, and into mine. The final thing that happened was when I was a junior in high school. I was on my way home from basketball practice. My friend's dad was the coach and was giving me a ride home. As we were coming down the street we all saw a large man walk down off of my front porch, and around to the back of my house. My friend's dad, who was a pretty tall and strong man said, was that your dad, to which I replied, no, after pulling in my driveway he told us to stay in the car, by that one my dad had walked out, and they both went around to the back of my house, and came back around a few minutes later. They both found nothing, and my dad kept saying that somebody kept knocking on the door, but when he would answer there would be nobody there. Always three knocks, after that nothing happened ever again, we ended up moving out in 2007. This content was provided by Angelo Tricarico